And so, this week's Vegetable Theatre is my tribute to Star Wars. So we're in deep space where the vegetable rebels are struggling against the Imperial forces. And we meet our hero, Leek Skywalker. Already Leek has lost his arm, but keep going Leek, keep going Leek. And his trusty sidekick, Parsnip D2. So, Parsnip D2, we have much to do in the struggle against the Imperial forces, but I must go across the desert and find the old hermit, Aubergine Wan Kenobi. Beep, 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 beep. I know it's dangerous, I know it's dangerous, but I must go. Beep, 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 beep. I know it's dangerous, I'm, you've said all that, but I'm going to go anyway because it's got to be done and I'm the only leak to do the job. So off you go. Off he goes across the desert, hopefully not losing any of his body parts because that's not funny, is it? It's not funny at all. He nears a likely looking cave. So, Leek Skywalker. <gasps> How did you know my name? Because I am Aubergine Wan Kenobi, and our destinies have been linked for a long time in the fight against the Imperial forces. <gasps> That's amazing, I found you and everything. Yes, yes, here you are. And now I must teach you how to fight with the force, Leek. Now, Leek, feel the forced rhubarb. <laughs> Oh, it's a bit hard. Oh, keep going, Lee. Keep going. Keep... Oh, I'm very tired after all this training. Yes. Yes. That's enough training for now, because we must get on, otherwise we'll be here all day. Uh, we now need to find a ship and a crew. Tan Celery Solo. Looking slightly grumpy as ever. He's probably only in it for the money. Yes. And his... Furry green sidekick. Chew broccoli! <sighs> ah. A cheer for him at home. And they board. Imagine now. Use your imaginations. All of them board their ship. The Millennium Fennel! And they fire through space, aiming towards the planet Alderaan. For the purposes of today, it's a great fruit. But just as they get to the planet all around, there's a massive explosion. And they have to change course and fly towards the Death Star. Where is the Death Star? Where is it? Oh, yes. They fly towards, drawn towards the power of the evil Imperial forces. So, as they arrive, we cut inside. Everybody, we are now inside Dark Star. Imagine that. And Leek Skywalker, he still has an arm, that's good news, is searching, searching for Princess Lemonface. He's rather taken with her. Hello, Princess Lemonface, Princess Lemonface. He has to do battle with the storm tubers. Sorry about that. Maybe a bit of danger with the storm tubers. Princess Lemonface, where are you? Princess Lemonface, I'm here. Oh my goodness, at last I've found you. Uh, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. I think we've got a lot of fighting to do, Leek. Uh, I do feel strangely drawn towards you, but somehow I feel it's wrong. So. Meanwhile, in another part of the ship, the evil Darth Tater waits in his lair. Here I am in my evil lair. I know those rebel vegetables are in my ship. 
but I will resist them. But I sense a presence. I sense a presence I have not felt for many years. And sure enough, who has sneaked up behind him? But it is you, Obi-Wan. Yes, it is I. And I have come to challenge you, to challenge you for the final time. What do you mean, old man? <laughs> You're too old to fight me. Never. I have the power of the Force as strong as when I was a young aubergine. And so they do battle. And it really does look as if Darth takes God the upper hand. And it's as if Obi-Wan has given up. He disappears. Darth Vader laughs. Ha ha ha! I have vanquished Obi-Wan, but he doesn't know that Obi-Wan has just stalled him whilst the rebel vegetables were stealing the plans to destroy the Death Star. And so, our final scene, we watch the rebel vegetables launch endless, endless ships against the Dark Star. First of all, they try a chili weapon. That doesn't work. Then they try a carrot ship. That doesn't work either. Then they try a massive great sweet corn ship. And that doesn't work either. Nothing is getting through. What are they going to do? Leak must launch his assault. And here he is. He takes off his helmet. And he hears the voice of Obi-Wan in his head, feel the force rhubarb leak. And he deals a deathly shot to the Death Star. And there is a massive...